Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. Another question that I'm frequently asked is uh, why is my succulent uh, looking very wrinkled up? Uh, the leaves are looking very uh, weird and there are a lot of wrinkles. Uh, the succulent is not looking very happy and when I ask them what exactly is their watering schedule, they say that they tend to use a mister and they tend to mist the upper layer of soil because they are scared that they might overwater their succulent. Now guys, please do not use this for your succulents. This is not meant for succulents. If you are going to mist this, it is going to drop water on the leaves. And if you're only misting the soil like this, it is not going to be enough. The roots are not going to get enough water. The succulent will start getting dehydrated. Apart from that, and if you are from a very warm and dry environment or let's say a very hot and dry environment your succulent will have a dry rot remember guys when you tend to use this you are just wetting the upper layer of soil and this upper layer of soil will dry within couple of minutes if you are from a very dry environment the roots are not going to get any water due to which the succulent will start getting dehydrated and there is a high chance that your succulent will have a dry rot and once your succulent has a dry rot it is a fatal rot and your succulent will not revive back it will be completely dead so ensure that when you tend to water your succulents you have to do a complete watering until the water starts passing through the drain hole let's say that you have a succulent that tends to look like this this is a clear indication that your succulent is dehydrated and again guys depending upon the climate and weather uh, for a lot of people who are from a cooler and a dry environment, you might uh, survive this. But if you are from a hot and dry environment, most probably 90% um, uh, chance that your succulent will have a dry rot. So ensure that you are extremely careful the moment you see this. Now guys, underwatering is good as compared to overwatering, but uh, underwatering to certain limit. You cannot do it to an extent wherein your succulent starts to have a dry rot. So you have to have a balance between overwatering and underwatering. Uh, do not keep your succulents underwatered excessively if you are from a very hot and uh, dry environment because there is a high chance that your succulent will get rotted. So the moment you notice that your succulent is getting dehydrated like this, you have to go ahead and do a complete watering. And when I say complete watering, it means that you have to water until the water starts passing through the drain hole. Now over here, my soil is completely bone dry. I forgot to water this one, but as you can see, my environment is not very hot uh, and it is dry, but it is not very hot. It has been raining, so I can still keep it slightly underwatered, but not excessively beyond this point i cannot afford to keep it underwatered so i am doing a complete watering and always ensure that you water the soil only and not on the succulent you have to ensure that only the soil is getting wet only the soil is getting the water and not on the succulent and now you can see within couple of uh, seconds of watering it the water has started to pass through the drain hole which means that my soil is well draining which means that i am completely done with watering the entire soil in this pot is completely wet and the excess water has started to drain out so this is what a complete watering is you have to water until the water starts passing through the drain hole this means that you have completely watered your succulent and after this after a couple of hours uh, let's say 24 to 48 hours the succulent will start to open up uh, depending upon how dehydrated the succulent was like this succulent is quite dehydrated so probably it might so this succulent might take 48 hours or 72 hours to plump up in case even after four or five days if your succulent does not open up or doesn't start looking better then you'll have to check the roots you'll have to check the soil uh, because a healthy succulent will start to revive back depending upon how dehydrated it is it will start to open up but you have to do a complete watering do not mist only the upper layer of soil that is not how it tends to work out i know why a lot of people tend to do this because they are scared that they are going to overwater the succulent but remember guys you're scared to overwater your succulent and that's why you're excessively underwatering it even that can lead to the death of succulent so be very careful just follow a balanced watering not too much not too less have that proper watering schedule if you want you can maintain a book when was the last time you watered how long it takes for your soil to dry initially these all small details will matter but as and when you get experience all these things will not be uh, that much of an issue for you but initially in the beginning stage it is a little difficult and tricky to understand but as and when you start getting experience it is going to become very easy for you so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating